Um, good afternoon. Today I'll continue to be talking about the coronavirus and the newest updates. So, currently, to, today, the first piece, piece of news is that President Trump has released national guidelines to control the virus. So, today, he has released national gu guidelines, including closing schools and avoiding groups of more than 10 people. Avoiding travel, bars, restaurants, and food courts. So, Mr. Trump has said that the recommendations would be in place for 15 days. This, The new measures re reflect the increasing gravity of global attempts to contain the virus as governments around the world in Europe, all Canada, are all closing international borders. So, Europe is also closing international borders and with the U.S., recommending these strict national guidelines and the study shows the gravity and the magnitude of this coronavirus outbreak. Mr. Trump also told a group of governors that they should not wait for the federal government. He said that basically what he said during the conference was that the governors should be able, should go get for equipment including ventilators to get the equipment themselves instead of trying to look for the federal government instead of trying to look for the federal government to for help. And this is that this is true as some governors have no idea what to do and are just looking for the federal government for help. And by doing this by doing this Trump is basically saying that the federal government probably can't help as much as you can. They pull the federal government because it's such a massive organization can't help can't help you can't help a single state as it needs 49 other states to take care of. So if the government, if the governments get the equipment themselves, then they could probably get the equipment faster. This, <coughs> and Dr. Anthony Fossey also supported these guidelines. He he can see some say, someone said that the government was overreacting, but he but this is not an overreaction because by doing this. The government is trying to protect the American people. So the second thing I would like to talk about today is that scientists released a new study saying that there are likely five to ten undetected cases for every confirmed one. So re researchers modeled the virus's natural spread in China before the government in instituted travel ban and aggressive testing policy. Basically, they modeled a situation that would that would be here before China actually started doing stuff to contain the virus. Basically, he, he found out that every for every test, for every confirmed case that there could be, there could be five to ten undetected cases that haven't been found yet. So basically, if we if we have three thousand five hundred confirmed cases in the U.S., you might be looking at 3,500 in reality, said Jeffrey Shaman, an epidemiologist at Columbia University. This is really serious. As you can see already, the U.S. cases have passed 4,000 today, and it could potentially be 4,000 people, which is extremely dangerous, and this, this number could increase exponentially as people come in contact with other people and spread the virus. And so, another piece of news is that in Santa Clara County, where I currently live, around it, five other counties, including my county, has decided to call it shelter in place. And this is the law. This is the strict, strictest measures yet in the U.S. Basically, what it's saying that people should not go out of the house and just stay at home in the county, and and, I, and the effects have almost been immediately noticed. There's almost been no cars, no cars on the highway. And sorry. And then, so basically.